They used to be a weapon of war. Now drones are in every department store. But are these flying cameras just a bit of fun? Or could creeps be recording your private moments to post online? They're the eyes in the sky with their sights set on you. And I think they actually like taunting you. Once they find you on the balcony, I think they come near you and they just buzz around as if here I am and you don't know who I am, but I'm looking at you. When it falls into the wrong hands, we've got a problem. Remember the days when a nosy neighbour peering over your back fence was your biggest privacy concern? Back then the solutions were simple. Plant a hedge or maybe build a bigger fence. But boy, things have certainly changed. Thousands of privately operated drones are buzzing over Australian cities and suburbs. Many equipped with HD and even 4K camera and recording technology. You don't know what their intentions are. With CCTV cameras and more modern apartment buildings and homes overlooking neighbouring properties, it's true privacy is increasingly in short supply. There are satellites watching us, not to mention services like Google Earth. But there are many very important differences when it comes to drones, and that's what makes them so appealing to peeping toms. For starters, nearly anyone can operate them. They can travel long distances, and it's near impossible to identify the pilots. So what are your rights? How can you protect yourself? and what's being done to try and stop the dodgy devices in their tracks. It overwhelms the channel, uh, frequency channels the drones use for communication. If one stopped here and just stopped and hovered and looked at me, I'd be concerned. Buzz off! Melbourne mum Tamika is fed up with drones invading her family's personal space. If you've got a pest or a pervert running drones around, Safety comes first and there's got to be some protections in place. If someone's flying a drone and you don't know who it belongs to or where that drone then goes, how can you object to that? These devices, which retail for as little as $50, are forcing us to rethink what it means to have privacy. There have been reported cases in Australia of women being filmed while they think they're away from prying eyes. I was mortified, really embarrassed. This Melbourne grandmother was sunbaking in a G-string in her own backyard when she was videoed by a drone. A photograph from the vision ended up on a real estate billboard. I couldn't believe that um, that, that image was there. I felt really violated. This young Darwin woman was skinny dipping in her backyard when she noticed a drone buzzing overhead filming. It's a kind of vision that could very likely end up on pornographic websites. The internet is littered with sites dedicated to sneaky vision of unsuspecting young men and women. When I don't know who's behind it and where those images are going and I don't have control over that, then that's a problem. Overseas, and this woman attempted to swat the spying drone out of the air with a broomstick. Would you be kind of tempted to throw a rock at it or something? Well, I'd be I'd putting be something towards put it, it yes. <laughs> but then you, we would think about the repercussions of that on us as well. If there's no laws against it and we damage someone else's property, then That's a good point, where yeah. does that go? Yes, they would get into trouble. They Lawyer David Galbally. I think it's a very difficult area and we just haven't seen any draft legislation being put up or coming into existence. Yep, that's right. A drone could be filming you in your most private moments and, according to the law, you're powerless to do anything about it, except maybe launch a trespass claim. But that is incredibly difficult to prove. It may take an event such as flying over Malcolm Turnbull's house constantly that would force the Federal Parliament to do something about it. You could call surfers paradise a peeping Tom's paradise. The sun, surf and sand makes for plenty of exposed flesh and the high-rise buildings are a spying drone's dream. And it's the drones that has residents and tourists here on the Gold Coast 
all riled up. You see them flying here. John and Jill Marie often see drones flying near their apartment, filming the building's pool and sometimes right through their windows. And they ruin the beach. You can see the women having the most relaxing time in their life on that white sand, sun baking. So you see women frightened? Ab absolutely. That absolutely self-protection straight away as it goes past. They know. Jill Marie has a name for the faceless drone operators. The untouchables, it's safe to be untouched, isn't it? You can do anything you want. Drones aren't going anywhere. For years they've been used in the military and now they're increasingly being utilised by emergency services and even shopping and food delivery companies. Futurists tip there'll be one billion drones in the skies by 2030. While harassment and stalking is illegal, to enforce penalties for this behaviour, you need to be able to establish a pattern. Try doing that with one of these things. Peter Gibson from the Civil Aviation and Safety Authority says there are rules, though, when it comes to recreational drone use. The rules are simple. They're things like stay more than 30 metres away from uh, other people at all times, uh, stay more than five and a half kilometres away from airports, uh, never fly your drone anywhere near an aircraft. You can cop fines of up to $10,000 for breaching these safety rules. But you're out of luck when it comes to privacy concerns. It's out of CASA's jurisdiction. Remember, there is not one specific piece of legislation that protects the privacy of individuals against recreational drones. One alternative could be fitting all drones with mobile SIM cards, which would allow flight data to be uploaded to a tracking government database. This is another more extreme option. US company Drone Shield has developed these guns, which can scramble a drone's circuits and force it to land. It doesn't have collateral damage that, say, a bullet or a net would do, and it's also effective against swarms of drones. So if you have multiple drones attacking a target or so forth. Private citizens cannot use the guns with governments and militaries among the company's clients, the high-powered arsenal recently being used by Australian police during the Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast. Get out of here! CASA says it's constantly reviewing recreational drone regulations and might have new rules in place by the end of next year. You can also find details on how to file a complaint with the Privacy Commission on our homepage.